What's happening, everybody? Coach Brian coming at you. CriticalBench.com strength coach here. And I am with my best, worst friend, the Prowler Sled. Now, you can use this to push, obviously. Uh, that's what a lot of people use this for. But there's a couple different types of pushing exercises you can use with this bad boy right here. Traditional push right here. But now, before you start just hammering it out, there's two different types of pushes you can use. Fast and slow. Sprint or walk, all right? So for the walk, obviously, slow. If you want to go for more strength and just endurance of like suckage, walk, all right? You can go heavier weight when you're walking just because you're able to apply a lot more muscle fiber recruitment and you're able to get a lot more strength behind you when you push with the walk. Now the opposite would just be going as fast as you can. This is more of a speed, explosive power uh, setup. So if you want to go for speed, haul butt. Just get the motor running, get the wheels turning, and just take off. Now what you want to make sure you're doing is full stride. You're not doing these short little choppy steps. You're getting full drive, knee drive, and also knee explosion. All right, so let's say you push it down to the other side of the turf. Now what's gonna happen? You're gonna have to turn around and push it back, right? This is when it really starts to suck. See these two lower handles here? High or low? A lot of coaches, especially football coaches, got these out on the field. You wanna make sure that you're pushing, driving with those toes, driving as hard as you can. And again, the same thing applies, walking or sprinting. The lower you go, the harder it gets. The higher you go, obviously, the little easier it gets. So really, there's four different types of uh, pushing exercises you can use with the sled. Walking versus running. Uh, low or high, you know, up here. Actually, maybe five. High, middle, low. However you want to set it up, just make sure you're going at it with 100%. And also, just don't be afraid to load up the plates to get the most out of this workout. Uh, so when you're doing your pushes, a good uh, reference would be setting distance or even for time. If, you're if you have access to a football field, 100 yard sprints, 50 yard walks, uh, 10 yard walks, whatever it is, you set the distance according to your sport. Now, let's say if you wanna do, just do general conditioning, we have a 30 yard piece of turf in our facility here. We just push it up and down a few times and have fun doing that. Again, you set the pace, you set the challenge, and just hammer it. Other than that, uh, that's it for the Prowler Sled, but there's something else I wanna share with you. It's found within a report called The Seven Worst Testosterone Killers. Um, it's a free read, it's great, it's a great PDF you can download. Go to this corner right where I'm pointing. Under this video, there's a tiny arrow. Click it, give us your, uh, that's gonna drop open the video description area. Click the top link here that you see. Um, yeah. Click it, give us your email, we'll send you a report right away. An easier way to get it is click right here. Click this box, give us your email, PDF's on its way. Subscribe to us by clicking here. Check out this video here. Comments, questions below here. That's it, I'm Coach Brian with CriticalBench.com. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.